fun and exciting journey. So, we're going to be taking a look at this first song. Three Dixie Cogs Double Trouble. This game was released for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System in 1996. Uh, I thought it was one of the best games in entries, only because I played big platformer I ever played for the Super Nintendo. But the other games are really good my cousins had uh, two and one and those were the fun games to play as well. Um, it did receive a lot of criticism and we'll take a look at some of that why. Uh, first, first thing I want to do is uh, thank the wonderful people at Open Emu who without that would not be possible to do it. Probably even be doing this. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna see what happens here. Um, I'm excited. Are you? I hope so, because otherwise it's going to be very boring for some of you. Uh, but here we go. So um, also side uh, departure from the pay as you go model, sort of. In Donkey Kong Country 2, you can now save your game with Wrigley Kong for free, as many times as you'd like. In Donkey Kong Country 2, you would have to pay for each additional save. You were allowed one free save per world, and that made the game extremely challenging. This game is challenging enough on its own, so I don't think we need to <clears throat> excuse me, uh, deal with that. So, here we go. We're going to go to Funky's Rentals, which is where we're going to find our friend, um, Kitty Kong. And we'll also get our motor. And he just says he can throw him through stuff. So, here we go with our motorboat. We're going to go to the first level, which is Lake Orangutanka. This is the Lakeside Limbo, and we'll take a look. This is also the first, if I remember correctly, from the Returns series. Well, Donkey Kong Country Returns and Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Um, I believe this is the first and only Donkey Kong Country game where you actually start with two Kongs instead of having to get one out of a barrel. I know in Donkey Kong Country 1 you had to get Diddy out of the barrel, Donkey Kong Country 2 you had to get Dixie out of the barrel, but you start with both Dixie and Kitty. So we just took out a coin here, and he will give us DK coins. This is going to be a complete 100%. Uh, playthrough. Just gonna try to beat the game as we go. So here we go. Easy enough. And wow, wait a second. Okay. So we have our new friend. Rambi is gone, but we have replaced her him with uh, our friend Ellie the Elephant. Gonna take this guy out. Get a bear coin. I'm gonna waste some of your time here, sorry guys. I'm gonna... Ah, no! I'll jump up here. If you take a look here, there's a... Uh, can I roll jump? Can I roll jump well? Let's start with that. Yes! Okay, so sometimes it's helpful to have Dixie, but you can get some of that stuff on your own. 
Uh, you can't get stuff up here. It's just a bare coin and, uh... Some bananas. So the story behind this game is... Baron K. Ruhlenstein, which is King K. Rule's new alter ego, has kidnapped Donkey and Diddy. And you have to go save them now. And you travel through the northern hemisphere, which is what this area is called. And of course you play as Dixie and Kitty. Uh, let's talk... I'm a musician, so let's talk a little bit about the uh, music. We're gonna switch to Dixie real quick. She can run fast. Go, Dixie! Uh, we're gonna talk about the music a little bit. We're not gonna do the bonus level, because I don't wanna do it. Uh, but the music for this game was written by Evelyn Fisher, who had helped David Wise in the other games. This time she went solo. I'm not exactly 100% sure to this day why that was, but uh, that's what happened. David Wise actually returned to do the Game Boy Advance remake, although I personally prefer um, Evelyn Fisher's original tracks and her score for this game. Oh, that was unexpected. Um, most people don't. They actually like the music in the remake better. I like some of the stuff. The stuff just very fits. It's very fitting. It very fits. That's not the word. The music is very fitting. Um, this receives some ridicule. I think this is the most polished of the games. This returns to the Donkey Kong Country 2 art style. Donkey Kong Country 1 had a very... had a different art style and gameplay experience. Uh, then Donkey Kong Country 2 vastly changed. Okay, so here we go. I'm, I know I'm going all over the place here, but I just want to give you a little background behind the game. And, you know... Let you. That was a stupid idea. You need to pull this thing down first. The kind of thing they give you extra bucks. Like I said, I'm jumping all over the place. I just want to make sure you get the full scope of the game. So the way you kill those is you hit them in the back. Now for here, you follow these bananas. Fantastic, Dixie. You're doing just great. Then hang to the right here, and you'll get a green balloon, which is worth. By the way, red balloons are worth one, green balloons are worth two, and blue balloons are worth three lives. So, let's take this time to save, because that's a good thing to do. And we'll visit that strange looking box that she's sitting next to. Uh, when she's actually using it. Some of you may already know what it is. So, here we go. Title Trouble. So, one of us needs to be thrown up. That was not right, Dixie. What are you doing? Okay, we need to switch. <laughs> I will say that it's a little less violent in this game than how you switch players. In the last one, uh, you literally kick to the other player's side. In this one, Dixie blows a bubble and pops it. Kitty drops Dixie and puts her in the game. So, uh, I can do it. Uh, there's a move you can pull off of Kitty Kong that we would need to get to another bonus level. But we're not going to try it for the bonus levels because I frankly just don't want to. Oh, and it's these guys again. These are like the ones that uh, came in the, that came out of the barrels and would either just try to bump you, steal your bananas, or in uh, Castle Crush, I believe. There was one that would actually take your life balloons from you. Guys, not to be messed with. 
but uh, we, I don't think we have any right here. We do have TNT ones. Fantastic. So I'll talk about the game and just play it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there's how you would do the uh, roll jump with Kitty on the water. I'd actually be skipping across the water. I can't do it myself. Wait for this redfish. There we go. Here's G. No, G. There we go. And of course, as most Donkey Kong Country games would let you, you will get a extra life for completing. That was stupid. Dixie cannot break through that. So we need to throw Kitty. It's gonna break through. Not too bad. Third level, I should say. Let's get this route. But as I was saying, you collect all four Kong letters and you get an extra life, as per the norm in the Legacy Donkey Kong Country games. I don't know why they didn't continue it for Donkey Kong Country Returns. Maybe because they give you enough. They really don't, though. I don't know why they didn't do that. Okay, so these things that are skidding across the uh, ice are called skittas. Get it? Okay. <laughs> um, fantastic. So, I'm gonna kill that. Oh, here's my favorite thing. Watch. Yeah, you can actually throw all the gold. I gotta show you something. Once I figure out how to do it, you can actually throw kitty. And it's snowing. Guys, this is on a SNES. Can you believe that? Well, it's not technically a SNES, but it's it's on a virtual SNES. But still, can you believe that? Look at how good this looks. It's fantastic. I love it. And we get an extra life, and then another extra life. We are just killing this. Oh! Run away! Throw. Throw. That worked. Get the G. And then fly. There's nothing back here, so we're just gonna do that. Fantastic. Murky Mill. You'll see why this level is annoying very quickly. One, you can't collect all the bananas. I'd love to be able to do that. We're gonna play this as Ellie the Elephant. And it plays to a couple stereotypes. We can't see those, those mice, so we're not scared of them. But you know the whole thing how mice are supposed to be scared of rats and mice? Elephants. Did I say mice? Watch this. No, bad Ellie. We're gonna see the rat, and we're gonna run away. Fantastic. So yes. Elephants are scared of rats and mice. Well, they're not really, but that's the stereotype they're playing to. I go get another barrel here. Get that thing. That was kind of fun, Way to go, computer. Uh, is this coin back here? Yes, he is. Ready? Oh, seriously? You have to stay in the shot. Oh. Or you just gotta pull the barrel along with your snout. Okay. And I see how that works. We need a barrel. I think we have a DK barrel. Uh, I'm wasting time here. Here we go. Fantastic. So, Ellie, unlike Rambi, with the zings, or zingers, I guess, 
Ellie cannot jump on any kind of buzz whatsoever, while Randy could jump on the yellow zingers. Nothing can kill the red zingers unless it's TNT, I think. And nothing can kill the, um... Swanky Sideshow. We don't want to deal with that, because I suck at it. And now we approach the boss. Belcha's Bar. This is a very annoying boss, and you probably want Kitty for it. So you're going to jump through here, and oh my god, there's a big barrel called Belcha. So you're going to grab these bugs, you're going to time it out right, and throw it in its mouth. You can kill this thing in as little as two hits. get a bug in, it'll belch backwards. But if you don't, it will move forward every time you bust open a barrel. I think I can still do it. No! This boss is annoying because if you don't get it exactly right, you can screw up a lot of progress. Like throwing the bug completely to the other side. Thank you, kitty. something and have to uh, edit it if it gets on. It took you too long, but now we're actually doing okay time-wise, I think. <laughs> but seriously. No! Sorry. Sorry, I'm so terrible at this boss. Um, this is supposed to be an easy boss. This is a level one boss. If I can't get this one, imagine how this let's play is going to go. You guessed it very horribly. Okay, so we got two in a row. Don't jinx it. One more, I think, and it should be dead. No! I think we're still okay to get it if we don't kill the bug. That's the important thing. Don't kill the bug. Feed it to the thing. Okay. Don't kill the bug. Yes! I think we're done. Are we done? Oh, seriously? You suck. No! Okay, pick up, pick up the bug. Okay, I think we're done now. Some bosses will give you a bonus coin if you win. So, that is that. That was level one, like Orangutanga. Next time, we shall tackle the Cremwood Forest. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Uh, you can find me streaming these games sometimes on Twitch, Twitch TV, uh, .tv slash John 13 You can also find me on Twitter. My handle is MacFanFar6. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.